Well, there's no doubt that firefighters are heroes day in and day out around here. They go to great lengths to save lives, but one way they serve the community gets a special kind of attention. They do it for charity, and lots of people appreciate it. I'm talking about the guys who grace the pages of the annual firefighter calendar. So yes. here to give us... Yeah. a sneak peek at the 2011 calendar. Please welcome Washington State Council of Firefighters Executive Director Rod Hevlin and Stephen Kilbreth of KMPS. Come on out, guys. First of all, this is the calendar. Uh -huh. Can I just say, that's a good calendar cover. <laughs> it's a good calendar, period. Yeah, it's a good calendar also. Wow, okay, the back is really pretty spectacular. Can you get a shot of that? Um, has anybody seen this yet? Nope. So this is a debut, everybody. Yeah. This is a first time happening. Yeah. So, um, Rod, tell me first of all about the charity that this goes to, because sometimes okay. we focus on the on the beefcake and forget the, the reason Absolutely. we're doing this. I like to say we have the the Burns Foundation with the longest name. It is a long name. It is. It's cumbersome. It's yes. Washington State Council of Firefighters Burns Foundation. I think we should shorten that somehow. Well, I, I do for people writing checks, because checks aren't <laughs> long enough. I tell them to put WSCFF Burns okay, Foundation. Good. Okay, good. That's good. As uh, long as those checks All of that come works. In. But no, we, uh, we're a very small organization. Uh, started in 1983 with um, just a few bucks, and we are still small. We still are run totally by firefighters with some awesome volunteer help, I will say. And we do great things. We send kids to burn camp. We do tons of burn research at Harborview and uh, uh, University of Washington. We have a phenomenal burn unit here, right here in our backyard. And we've been a supporter of them. We have paid for hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of uh, research. And it's, it's just been great. It's been absolutely great. We've got great support from the community. The calendar, of course, has been around 16 years. It sells like hotcakes. Uh, better. Yeah, better yeah. than hotcakes. Lasts a lot longer than hotcakes. <laughs> uh, this year we have 29 people in it. 29. 29. And men and women, right? Men and women. Yes. Three women. So 23 guys. This is now a fun calendar for everybody. Absolutely. And uh, were you at all surprised at what a huge hit this has been? It, it's been a real interesting ride. We started <laughs> this, uh, uh, as I say, 16 years ago, 1996, with a poster. Just a poster with a few firefighters around it. And that went off the shelves. We had to have a second printing. And so the next year we thought, okay, let's go to a real calendar and see how it goes. And it's been wonderful ever since. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. All right, well, let's, uh, <laughs> let's look at... Um, what we're looking at here. Uh, Stephen, you've been <laughs> emceeing the calendar and juggling and unveiling events and doing right. all this stuff for years. Mm -hmm. So we asked you to come here and help announce the guys who are going to come out and show us what the, the calendar is all about. Right. And um, Susie Wiley was kind enough to bring her Halloween fog machine because we're just going to try to make this as atmospheric as possible. <laughs> I, I want you to appreciate all the links we've gone to to uh, really elongate and enjoy this segment. So <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, hit it. Let's let's. Meet our firefighters. All right, here's uh, Mr. April. It's his uh, second time on the calendar. And uh, Mr. April, yes, his name is Joel. Joel uh, loves walking the beach with his golden retriever, Sparky. Uh, Joel's uh, favorite thing to cook, by the way, is barbecue, and he loves Dungeness crab as well. So uh, a good meal if you uh, happen to be spend some time with Joel. <laughs> what we're talking about. Joel, thank you so much. And he saves lives in his spare time. Okay. Well, there's that too, I guess. <laughs> there's that too. Thanks, Joel. Now, we have a picture of our next guy. I think, don't we have some outtakes as well that we can show from the calendar? Oh, no, we're going to go directly to him. There he is. Mr. Uh, Mr. August here is Jason. Woohoo! He's been in the calendar for uh, three years in a row. His favorite thing to do, and this will melt your heart, is spending time with his two daughters. Ah, uh, we like that. And he loves traveling to Cabo, where he likes to drink. So those <laughs> say, you know, it contradicts a little bit, but Jason is uh, one of our guys who's been in the calendar three times. Mr. August, this is Jason. Well, thank you, Jason. Now let's take a quick look at the photo of our next guy. This is not in the calendar. This is an outtake. This is a special photo. Not a bad-looking guy, I'd have to say. Oh, no, he's... Woo! And Margaret, he's a first-timer this year with us. Yep. 
He's uh, Mr. September. He's uh, Tony, Mr. September. He loves uh, hip hop and R&B. If you're ever at a club on a week, uh, weekend night, you're gonna see him dancing around. And he also loves wakeboarding and snowboarding. And he told me his secret love is pedicures. Pedicures, all right, we like it. Another well-balanced male, we love that. <laughs> Thank you, Tony, very that is, nice. Uh, Tony. Now you're seeing uh, George on the screen. George has been in the calendar five different times. He's Mr. November this year. Let's uh, bring Whoa. out George. <laughs> George is a uh, George is a, a third wow. generation firefighter. He also plays ukulele and he's known as Aloha George. <laughs> Aloha George. All right, thanks Keep George. Thank you so much. Now take a look at this next picture. This this guy is special who we're about to see because he is the He is the cover guy on the calendar this year and it's the first time we're getting to see him because we haven't even seen it because the unveiling isn't until August 27th. And uh, Matt is a uh, first timer with us this year, Matt. And uh, you'll see him at the radio circuit. And he actually, uh, why I asked him why he became a firefighter, and he said because it's uh, what he was born to do. Because Excellent. his fathers, uncles, and cousins were all heroes, and they were all firefighters. I think that's fantastic. Thank fantastic. you, Matt. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to go and talk to these lovely firefighters. This is so hard. I have a difficult job, really <laughs> awful, difficult thing to do. Let me see if I can get this microphone out. So is this your first year? It's my second year. Second year. Oh, you seem sometimes. very, very um, inhibited and shy. Yes, yes. I've had a lot of caffeine this morning. Okay, a lot yeah. of caffeine. That's Mini good. Mini espressos. All right, Joel, we appreciate okay. that. What was this experience like for you? Uh, it's great. Uh, I've done it. This is my third year now, and I, we've the best experience is by far going to the burn camp and, and seeing where all the money goes and seeing all the kids that get to, you know, experience being around other kids like them and just yeah. feel free and have fun. And we need to remember that's what this yeah, is all absolutely. about. And this is your first year. This is. Tony, you seem very shy. Little, I'm hoping you'll be able to bit. break out of your, your <laughs> shell. Have you enjoyed this? Is it fun? You know, it's been an awesome ride so Excellent. Far. Awesome. Well, thank you for being here. George, you're our veteran. I, I guess so. Yeah. This is five years running. It's Yes, five years this year. So that's pretty impressive. And I'm sure you also are committed to the cause here. Well, it's a great cause. I mean, it, there's there's a lot of charities that firefighters are involved with, um, and we get to make a lot of money for the Byrne Foundation. So it's very, uh, uh, makes you feel good, warm Close and fuzzy. And then going to Burn Camp and seeing the kids that benefit from the, yeah. from the money we make. You bet. What's the best part about being a firefighter? You know, being able to show up and... Um, help people that uh, they're having the worst day in their life. Yeah. And we show up and be able to take that, uh, that uh, anxiety from them and take over and, and help them out. We love it. And Matt, you're on the cover. Were you surprised? Are you thrilled? I was surprised. <laughs> it's a little intimidating. <laughs> You've got the guns for it. Let's see one of those biceps. All right. Oh, right. <laughs> Got him on the cover. So, so have the guys been giving you a hard time? Oh, I've been buying ice cream a lot uh, lately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can only imagine. What do they say to you? Oh well, it's uh, kind of like a locker room situation. All you know? right, all right. <laughs> well, we'll just imagine. But thank you very much for being here and for doing yeah. such a great job for charity. We appreciate you guys every day, and we've had a lot of fun with this. But obviously, we know that you guys really are our heroes and service every day and keep us uh, safe. And we can't thank you enough. Thanks so much. 2011 firefighter calendar will be unveiled on Friday, August 27th. So you've had a sneak peek today. I might look at it again later today. You know, just for pure, you know, being responsible and reporting on it correctly. Um, it's all going to be unveiled aboard the Argosy Royal Boat. And you can meet and greet all the calendar firefighters in person and get your calendar signed while you're at it. So we don't have to tell you that they make great gifts, the calendars, not the firefighters. Um, the tickets are now available, but the numbers are limited, so you can buy them soon. We'll have a link to ticket information on our website on king5.com slash newday. Again, thank you to everybody. We really appreciate it. Don't forget that the proceeds from this event go to a really great cause, the Washington State Council of Firefighters Burn Foundation, a wonderful cause we're proud to support and will continue to. So we've loved having everybody here today, and we're going to move on now, but we're not going to forget you guys ever ever we're going to remember the guns it's lego time though meet a guy who does something that only 10 other people in the whole world can do we'll be right back